Psychic surgery is a paranormal medical practice where tissue is removed from the patient's body by a psychic doctor in a painless operation performed without the use of anaesthetics or sterilization. The procedure is undertaken with bare hands or basic medical instruments and leaves little if any trace of the skin having been broken. One of the most famous psychic surgeons was Arrigo. His birth name was Jose Pedro de Freitas and he took the name Arrigo when he became famous as a healer in 1950. He was born in October 1921 in the Brazilian highlands and came from a poor family and left school at 14 to begin work in the local mines. When he was 30, he began suffering from depression and severe headaches along with nightmares, sleepwalking and hallucinations. Unable to get any relief from doctors in desperation, he went to a local spiritualist named Oliveira, who told him that the cause of the problem was a spirit attempting to work through him. Arrigo later discovered that the spirit was that of a German doctor called Adolphus Fritz, who had lost his life in 1918 during World War I. Dr. Fritz was putting Arrigo in a trance-like state, or channeling, in order to help heal people. As soon as Arrigo started working as a psychic surgeon, his severe headaches ceased. In 1950, a senator called Bittencourt had invited Arrigo and some other miners to attend a rally in the city of Belo Horizonte. The senator, Arrigo and the other miners were staying at the same hotel as Bittencourt. Was at the hotel, Bittencourt was informed by his doctor that he was suffering from a cancerous tumour which required immediate treatment. After the rally, the senator had intended to travel to the US to undergo surgery, but that night, Arrigo entered Bittencourt's room in a trance-like state, with a razor blade in his hand. But that was all that Bittencourt could remember. The following morning, the senator had awoken, covered in blood, and found that his pyjama top had been slashed and looked down to find an incision in his ribcage. In a state of shock, the senator visited Rigo, who had claimed to remember nothing of the incident. The senator immediately visited his physician, who then took several x-rays and was amazed to find that there was no longer any sign of a tumour and that it had inexplicably disappeared. Bittencourt discussed his miraculous cure to his friends and associates and included it in his political speeches. Rigo was instantly famous. In 1956, Arrigo and his family were visiting a female relative who was dying from cancer of the uterus. As the priest was about to administer the last rites, Arrigo suddenly ran out of the room and came back with a knife. He then thrust the knife into the woman and twisted it around for a few seconds and then extracted a large tumour without pain or hemorrhaging. Arrigo then immediately collapsed and afterwards claimed to have remembered nothing of the operation. The relative made a complete recovery. In order to perform his healing surgery on more people, Riga opened a small clinic in his hometown of Congongas, in the state of Minas Gerais, in southeastern Brazil. There he would carry out his surgery free of charge. The most unusual aspect of Riga's surgery was that he worked in unsanitary conditions and used only his hands, a rusty knife, and occasionally a pair of scissors without any medical knowledge. Working in these unsafe conditions, he managed to perform thousands of operations over a 20-year period. During the operations, there would be little bleeding, and the patients would feel no pain. There were no stitches, and the wounds would heal extremely fast, and amazingly, there was no record of patients ever having become infected in the unsterile conditions. A physician had a daughter called Sonia who was suffering from liver cancer, where other fellow physicians also verified she had liver cancer and that it was inoperable. In desperation, she and her father travelled to see Arrigo at his clinic. On arriving, she had to wait in line with the other patients. As soon as she entered the room, Arrigo informed her that she had liver cancer and would perform a quick operation. He then laid her down on the floor that was covered only in newspapers 
and made a quick incision into her liver using a penknife. Her father was expecting to see a lot of hemorrhaging, but was totally stunned when he saw a mere trickle of blood coming out of the wound. But things got even stranger when Arrigo inserted a pair of scissors into the wound, then took away his hand and the scissors started moving on their own accord. A few seconds later, Arrigo put his hand into the wound and removed a tumorous growth. He then wiped the incision with a piece of cotton and without stitches, it closed up. A biopsy of the growth which Rigo had removed later confirmed that the growth was definitely cancer and that she was cured. The girl and her father had no explanation what they'd just witnessed. Over a period of time, other eminent people visited Rigo and were successfully treated, including Brazilian President Kubitschek's daughter, his pilot, and the head of his security police. Arrigo never operated in secrecy and would invite doctors or anyone who was interested to come and watch his surgery. Dr. Ladira Maguez was a physician who witnessed one of Arrigo's operations. During an operation on Mrs. Maria Silvero, Dr. Maguez saw Arrigo remove a piece of tissue 78.7 centimeters long and 38 centimeters wide from her ovaries. During the brief operation, Maguez also claimed he saw the scissors moving by themselves as if by another hand and can hear the sound of metal and tissue being cut. After the scissors were removed, the wound healed with little blood. In the spring of 1957, Arrigo was arrested for practicing medicine without a license, despite pleas from the thousands of his patients. Fortunately for Arrigo, he was now connected to people in high places and along with thousands of testimonies, he was subsequently pardoned and released without serving his sentence. However, in 1964, he was arrested again and charged with witchcraft and given a 60 months jail sentence, but nobody was willing to testify against him. Apparently, he was arrested due to pressure from the Catholic Church, who did not approve of his practices. He only served seven months and was even allowed to continue treating people whilst in jail. On one occasion, he was visited by Judge Philippe Imesi, who wanted to investigate the famous psychic surgeon for himself and described the following eye operation. He saw him pick up a pair of nail scissors and then wipe them on his shirt without any sterilization. He then saw him cut directly into the cornea of the patient's eye, where the patient did not flinch and remained conscious. In a few seconds, the cataract had been removed. With a few drops of liquid on the cotton, he then wiped the woman's eye and she was cured. In 1963, American psychological researcher Henry Poharich, MD, and businessman Henry Belk visited Brazil to begin a detailed five-long investigation into Arrigo's alleged healing powers. Poharich claimed to have witnessed thousands of Arrigo's operations during the investigations and he even had a benign tuna removed from his arm in only a few seconds without pain. Puharic actually had his psychic surgery filmed, showing Ario slitting Puharic's arm with an unsterilized penknife, removing the growth and placing it in Puharic's hand. The whole operation took five seconds with minimal bleeding and no infections afterwards. Puharic's studies included tests on the blood from tissue Arrigo had removed from patients in order to ascertain that it did indeed belong to the person who had been operated on. He also taped interviews with numerous patients and observers, made audio films and films of Arrigo's surgeries and diagnosis and took numerous photographs. Buharic found that apart from his psychic surgery, Arrigo was also able to diagnose illnesses, advise appropriate treatment just by looking and write out complex prescriptions, often for dangerously high doses of drugs or for medicines that were obsolete or even illegal. Investigations showed that Arrigo's prescriptions worked, even on terminal cases, although, as with his surgery, there was no known medical reason why they should do so. In early January 1971, Arrigo began telling his friends and associates, including former President Kubitschek of Brazil, they would not see him again, as he would soon die. A few days later, on the 11th of January, he lost his life in a car crash. 
Rico's hometown of Cohongos do Campo came to a standstill at the tragic news. Flags flew at half-mast and the mayor declared two days of mourning for the great healer. In 1974, American author John G. Fuller wrote a book about Arrigo's amazing psychic surgery titled Arrigo, Surgeon of the Rusty Knife. 